Hello. Okay, so welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Fallout New Vegas, and I noticed there's some streamers that are getting into Fallout New Vegas. They seem very unfamiliar with the with the territory, but they they seem okay with uh, backseating aloud. So I'm going to make this video and maybe try to share it with them. Uh, what what this video is going to be is going to be how to. Uh, get on your feet when you're starting a new game and you're unfamiliar with the territory. So we'll start with a new game, no saves, just uh, a quick run to where to get the resources you need easily. So here we go, new game. And we got to make sure not to save because I really don't want to save over my previous game file. I have over like 900 hours in it, <laughs> and I really don't want to uh, just throw that away at the time being. And when I'm ready to, I'm going to do dead money and then throw it away then. But I'm not ready yet. So, anyways, this is going to be the opening. Uh, this is the, the new game. So you want to watch the opening so that you, you understand the setting. You, you start in a house, uh, which is funny because house owns that house. Uh, you zoom out to the strip. Here we go. You see there's different factions. There's the NCR. There's the civilians of the wasteland. Gamblers. Securitrons, all different people to look out for. Um, the NCR uh, soldiers, soldiers, they're kind of separate from the rest of the NCR, but they're still affiliated to the NCR. Uh, there's Vegas itself. You notice there's no gate at that sign, so if you see that sign, there's no gate there. Don't try to go in there. Uh, there's the Legion. Um, that's another faction to look out for. Now, keep in mind, factions are not going to be aggressive towards you unless you're aggressive towards them first. So the Legion and the NCR won't bother you unless you bother them. Uh, and there's, of course, Benny Gecko and the Cons. Benny! Benny! Benny and the Cons! War. Yeah, there's Benny Gecko and the Cons. War never uh, changes. And then here's you. You, you yourself. You... When atomic the, fire consumed the Earth, those who the survived vault dweller. did so in great I'm guessing. Why else vaults. would they be showing a vault? After when they opened... As a premonition to you, set out whatever. Across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages. Yeah, I have a theory that uh, tribes. I have a theory that what's his name, Doc Mitchell, As didn't actually passed, uh, what had been didn't actually American take Southwest your stuff. United. Oh no, no, okay, okay. He says, the flag um, the new he says he's got Republic, your belongings. So I got a theory that uh, of democracy that some the of the stuff law. that Doc Mitchell says belonged to his wife actually belongs As to the you. Republic grew, now, Doc Mitchell so definitely needs, does come from Vault 21, scouts, and Doc Mitchell, seeking territory uh, and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse. Of I don't know. The just the thing desert. is, there's a possibility that you, if you play a female character, city you are Doc Mitchell's wife, and the there's a possibility the that you, if you're a male character, you could be Doc Mitchell's uh, son, and that. Uh, the, the items he's giving you could be your inheritance, army, you know, items that you had owned before you left the house, Dam, and, um, and restore it to working condition. That that Benny had actually stripped you naked when he but killed you. The Colorado, so I'm another guessing that all that stuff that Doc Mitchell said belonged to you flag. might have been old stuff you left behind of when you uh, still lived with Doc Mitchell as his tribes, son or as his wife. Caesar's Legion. Um, that's one theory. Years have passed Who knows how the accurate it is? Just barely. But one thing I love about the these games is they keep them as vague as possible, the so that it's so easy to just yeah. come up with a s just a spin the of uh, theories like that. Burn. So, beat. anyways, yes. Yeah, so there's there's Caesar's Legion's camps. Through it all, the look out for a lot of water. Water's a great place business. to heal yourself. Under the control if you of go to war with Caesar's Legion's camps, just remember there's water. Surrounding you, of so that you can easily drink water if you're robots. fighting them. Same with the NCR camps. Most NCR camps are, you well, not most NCR courier, camps, but the big ones. Most big camps Mojave in general Express are located the around water. To the new Vegas Strip. And that water is free health. What seemed like a simple delivery. So there's a water tower. Once again, keep in mind, water towers are a good place to heal yourself. Course. Unlimited water means unlimited health. Now you got to keep in mind some water is radiated. You got what you were so, so pay up. There's, you got to balance that you're out. Crying too. in the rain. Pally. So here you are. Oh, okay. You're not naked. This is you're wearing a shirt. Up over here. But notice, you're not wearing uh, you're not wearing the vault shirt or anything. Time to uh, cash out. You we seem to be wearing a caravan way. merchant's shirt. Maybe one of the kill people without the looking them in the that, face. Uh, ring, the clothing very but similar to what Ringo wears. Dig. Um, but I, I'm still guessing that since Doc Mitchell didn't give you that Maybe shirt, they must have stripped you naked when they uh, when they buried you. Sorry, so, you got twisted up in this. Scene. Uh, 
that or Doc Mitchell didn't bother to grab your clothes. Where you're kneeling must blood, seem so like an 18 who knows exactly what happened luck. to your clothes. Maybe uh, Benny is, likes to collect the clothing the of people he kills. I mean, that's something a lot of players do. Uh, they still collect all the clothing people kill. In fact, there's plenty of playthroughs I've watched where people have killed Benny and then collect his clothing and wore it for the rest of the game. Um, who knows? Maybe, maybe Benny gave it to Ringo. That's why Ringo's in that town, and that's why he, he acts so weird around you. He pulls a gun, he's like, Whoa, are you gonna kill me? I'm wearing all your clothes. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what exactly the case was, but. Anyway, so we're, we're going to get right to it. Uh, we're going to build our character. We're, we're not going to try to take too much time as the building of the character doesn't really affect your gameplay. It might affect your psyche a bit, but it's not going to affect actual game mechanics. It might affect you yourself as a player. You might have a little bit of poor morale if you're ugly as dirt, you're awake. but you... Uh... How about that? Okay, so yeah, it starts off, you're awake, how about that? Whoa, uh, easy and there, then easy. we're just going to get straight to the, the face molding. Now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about yep. your name? Can you tell me your name? So we're... just gonna oh you know so I can't say it so okay I no I didn't get a unique name okay name, I named my character name. Azrael the I'm angel of death because he's the messenger Welcome. that delivers uh, uh, people now, to St. Peter mind, but, but no no special response I, I, I every time I start a new out. game now, I don't start a new game very often but every time I start a new game I try my best to make a name that I'm hoping is somewhere hidden in the files is a response where do do? Doc Mitchell will say a unique response. He never does, though. Uh, hey, check this guy out. He looks like um, a comic book character from the 1950s. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go with that. This is not going to be. We're not going to save at all. So you know what? We're going to make him scroll, though. Yeah. You know what? I just. You know, I, I'm just trying to speed through this, but I really want to... Yeah, there we go. We got a haircut like uh, Oliver... Oliver Swank. Well, I got okay. most of it right anyway. So we're going to get through this... Um, okay. No sense for the most part, you don't really have to mess with the face molding and gameplay-wise. Uh, now, I suggest it because you're going to be stuck with your character for however long you're stuck with it. Good. But, um... Why don't you, you don't have to really go in depth on the Over face molding. Bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Uh, so now we're gonna work on our skills. So this is gonna be what's called a true Slayer build. You will be living life on easy mode if you go with this. Um, my build is an industrious, more of construction worker type build, um, but. What we're gonna build here is the true slayer. This is what I suggest to you. My uh, my construction worker really isn't all that impressive. So you want 10 strength. The reason for that is almost everybody who plays this game really gets into hoarding. And uh, I don't suggest hoarding. Honestly, if you're a skilled player, you will barter with every single container you run across and remember where you left that container so that you can pick up that stuff that you left with it later on. So you wanna barter with containers, but new players don't often use this technique so you being a new player most likely won't use this technique of bartering with uh, desks and mailboxes so let's just say set your strength at 10 so that you can carry as much as possible and even if you are a mar uh, you, even if you are a bartering master uh, you still might want high strength so that you can carry a high amount of food medicine that's one thing a lot of people do they focus on stim packs stim packs are expensive and stim packs are best saved for your companion. Uh, food is your best medicine. Uh, there's a great philosopher that once said, let food be thy medicine. And in this game, it really behooves you to use food as your medicine. Perception, we do not need perception. Endurance, we do need endurance. Uh, charisma, we do not need charisma. Now, my character has charisma. This character does not. This character that I'm suggesting for you does not have charisma. So, endurance. Uh, intelligence, we do not need intelligence. Agility, we need 7 agility. Luck, we need 10 luck. And now look at that. We spent all our points, and this is what is called the True Slayer build. He is Conan the Barbarian. 
He is Conan the Sumerian. He is uh, kind of the character that these games are based off of. This game and the Skyrim games, the idea of uh, civilization toppling, regrowing, toppling, regrowing, uh, things like that. So anyways, here's your character. If you're starting a new game, here's your character. If you're looking for the easiest run, you can go through. And if you're not really focused on quests, so here you go. You got 10 strength. You're the Hercules bigger cousin. You got perception, one. You're a deaf bat. Deaf, blind, ding bat. Uh, endurance. You got 10 endurance. You're unstoppable. You are literally one of the unstoppables. You're greater than Grognak. Uh, charisma. You got one charisma. You're a misanthrope. You're, uh, you do not get along well with others, but, I mean, you're here to kill stuff, right? You're not here to just to talk with everybody. You're here to shooty, 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 or punchy, punchy, punchy. Uh, intelligence. Sub-brick. You, uh... <laughs> You, you, you're not at all that bright, but you know what? We can get an implant later on that you can become a vegetable. And, you know, uh, they say vegetables are great for your brain, so... Um, under control, you are... Uh, oh, no, knife thrower. You are a knife thrower. You're greater than knife... The, greater than cat-like. You are a knife thrower. Seven agility. Ten luck. You are a two-headed coin flip. You just rigged the game from the start. Okay, here we go. So that's Sorry, your character. Son. I fixed up your head as And we're going to make sure that the difficulty is on very hard and on Best hardcore. I... Now that's another thing. In your settings, you want to uh, make sure that your kill cam is off. Kill cam does this burnout effect and it's great, it's fun, but uh, if you are a new player, I do not suggest having kill cam on as it's going to hinder your your uh your combat and if you're here for combat which most new okay so new vegas is an old game but it's old enough that there's new players joining to this day so if you're a new player you're most likely focused on the modern climate of gaming which is very combat orientated not very speech orientated more combat orientated we're talking about fortnite we're talking about apex legends we're talking about call of duty warzone if you're familiar with games like that kill cam is not for you I suggest turning the kill cam off. This 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 uh, tutorial is for people who are new to the game. So if you're new to the game, you know, kill cam off. I guess I missed a spot. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them both. Okay, and you can honestly uh, just speed through this. And just sit on the couch. Take a seat in my couch. Real easy, like. A couple of questions. See if your dogs are still barking. Uh, you don't, and for this part, you don't got to listen to anything he's got to say. All right. You can just, uh, spam A. Because at the end, you get to choose your own stuff. See, look, so it chose stuff for you. So we're going with melee. Uh, and we're going to go with, uh, not speech. We're going to go with survival. You definitely need survival. You need at least one weapon, so I suggest melee, because melee's got a higher DPS. But you can go for unarmed, and in fact, with this build, you're going to need unarmed as well as melee. So we're going to choose both unarmed and melee. Uh, this is, once again, this is the this is the dumbest character you can go for, and I am so sorry. This game is not a game for pew pew, shooty shooty. You're going to have to get in with your hands and choke your enemy to death and watch the life drain from his eyes. Uh, you can do shooty shooty, but it's going to be a lot more difficult. And this tutorial is to make things as easy for you as possible. And the unarmed and melee combat is, in my opinion, far easier than the gun combat. Uh, the Fault in New Vegas, amongst the community who has enjoyed it for a long time, it has even the most diehard lovers of this game will admit to you that the the gunplay is clunky at best. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Uh, okay, so now what are we going to choose? We're going to choose... Uh you could choose Wild Lace Wasteland. Once again, if this is just a one burnout stream, if, if you're just playing this game through, 
and you're new to it, I don't suggest Wild Wasteland. I would suggest Wild Wasteland if this is a place you want to live in. This is your if this is if this is going to be your main game for the rest of your time as a streamer, or at least one of your main games. I would suggest Wild Wasteland. But if you're just here to um, try it out and give it a shot. And to just do a quick one run through, I suggest avoiding Wild Wasteland because it's it's a waste of a perk. Um, what I do suggest is getting Logan's Loophole if you can. Uh, if you have the DLCs, get Logan's Loophole. But if we're gonna pretend you don't have the DLCs, so uh, we're gonna go with uh, let's see what's good natured. We might go with the good natured. No, that takes off our melee. Uh, yeah, I believe it's heavy-handed. Heavy-handed is a good one. Uh, now, I went with heavy-handed and wild wasteland, but since... Oh, gosh. Let's see. Heavy-handed... Oh, gosh. You're, you start off with two. Now, this is actually a tough one because um, my build did not have as many of these things available because I made a worse build. This is the true Slayer build. Um, let's see. Loose cannon. No, we're not going to go with that. Hot blooded. Uh, no, that's not good. Kamikaze. Uh, that's also not good. Early bird. No, that's awful. Well, you know what? We're going to scroll through all these things. So you need to start with heavy-handed. Uh, if you have the DLCs, I suggest Logan's Loophole. If you don't have the DLCs, I guess you could get uh, Small Frame. Uh, you could get Small Frame or Wild Wasteland for this one. I would probably lean on Small Frame, so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, so, okay, we're not able to scroll through all of them, are we? Oh, wow. Okay, so we're starting off with heavy-handed and small frame. Wait, do we really want small frame? You are more easily crippled. Let's see. So this is actually... The small frame is more for a shooter and not really for a close-to-close -close person. And if you're playing without the DLCs, you won't be able to get the implants that get your body to be crippled less easily. Now, you can get an implant to help you regain your health, but it's not going to save you from a... So you know what? We're going to go with, uh, well, hmm. what is Hoarder? Hoarder, you gain 25 pounds. Ah. Oh. Oh. Anytime your weight is carrying. Okay, yeah. So so if you are going with this build, this true Slayer build, and if you're new, here we go. Heavy-handed, so your melee and unarmed attacks do more damage, but less critical damage. Go with that and go with Hoarder because you're a new player. You're probably not going to be a skilled merchant who knows how to get a deal with a dumpster or get a deal with a trash can. So you're probably going to carry everything you want, everything you need, maybe more than you necessarily need. Now, your average person needs to only carry food and water. But you, as a new player, are probably going to forget that all you need is food and water. So you're going to end up carrying a lot of junk. So there we go. We're going to go with heavy-handed and hoarder. If you're new, heavy-handed, hoarder with the true Slayer build. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me. And this can out. go for anything non-DLC or uh, or with the DLCs, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, now we're, we're going to get to the door, and he's going to give us our stuff. And we're going to dr actually drop all of the DLC stuff because I'm going to assume that you're new. So you haven't, you're wary on whether or not you like this game and whether you, or not you want to buy the DLCs. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was... Okay, uh, thanks. So we're going to go with hardcore mode on because this is an option you can always choose. And I want to show you that even without the DLCs and even with ha very hard difficulty and hardcore mode on, you can still do this. Okay, so first of all, let's let's put away this stuff. Where's Doc's mailbox? That's all the DLC stuff. We don't need that. 
Um, where's Doc's mailbox? Whatever. We're just gonna go to the vending machine. This vending machine is always gonna be here. So take the sunset and leave the stuff we don't want. So all of this stuff that's not part of the game, all of this stuff, we're throwing it away. Nobody needs that stuff. Get rid of the canteen, get rid of the bobby pins, and uh, we're, I think we might actually have the caps available to us early game. Okay, so now everything's fair. Now everything's fair. We're, 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 uh, we're exactly how we would be if you didn't own the DLCs and if... Uh, If, this, if, if you didn't own the DLCs, this is what you're working with. So, I'm going to show you where the food's at. So, behind Doc Mitchell's house, you want to immediately go for food. Remember, we're on hardcore difficulty. And even if you're not on hardcore, you need this stuff to heal yourself. We got the food. Now, behind this house, next to Doc Mitchell, is this food. Honestly, you don't have to do this food run, but I suggest it. I highly suggest it because you're going to want this stuff to heal yourself. Now, you don't necessarily have to have it, but it would be my suggestion to uh, gather this food while it's available. But if you're in a hurry, you don't have to do this step. We got the food. There's still a little more food to get. I'm sorry this is going to take a little while. <laughs> and I'm actually at 6 agility or 7 agility, so I'm faster than I normally am. So, uh, this this is kind of a long process if you take this step. But I, I highly re recommend it. It's totally worth it. I know it's just scraps, but it's, uh, it's enough to get you started. It's kind of one of those things like a plane. The plane takes a little while to get lift off, and then once it's got lift off, it just... It starts going. So, uh, this is a bit of a slow start, but you'll be on the fast track to Vegas in no time if you follow this route. Howdy. So, what I'm going to show you this run is the desert salad route. If you've ever seen me in a Twitch chat, you've probably heard me talking about the desert salad route. And you've probably seen a streamer who has difficulty understanding what the desert salad route is. So this is your opportunity to actually see what the desert salad is, the desert salad route is, and how to use it uh, to your benefit. So notice I didn't talk to anybody in the town. You don't want to listen to Doc's directions. You don't want to listen to Sonny's directions. You don't want to listen to anybody. Their, their lives are miserable for a reason. <laughs> they don't give good advice. Their instructions are poor. So, uh, you they're going to lead you down the route that's going to get you killed. Because they themselves are stuck in this town. Because if they went and left the town, they would die. You, on the other hand, you got me. You got this video. So, uh, this, this is going to be what you need to get out of this town. Those guys are stuck. There's nothing we can do for them. And there's nothing they can do for you, honestly. So, we're going to show you the desert salad route. So, you want to follow this road. It's going to take a while. And you want to make sure you're wearing light armor. If you find heavy metal armor, don't put it on. Your your starting uh, jumpsuit is just fine. It's uh, perfectly fine to work with. So what we're doing is we're heading down the road. You see there's a good spring source to the right of us. There's good springs behind us. And we're heading down the road. We're going to over by Gene Sky Diving. And you want to pick up the food on the way. We're going by Gene Sky Diving. And from there, we're going to go to the prison. And from the prison, we're going to go to Hidden Valley. From Hidden Valley, we're going to go to Scorpion Gulch. And from Scorpion Gulch, we're going to go to Helios 1. 
and we're going to try to avoid Black Mountain along the way. And we're going to try to avoid getting stung by scorpions. And we're going to try to avoid uh, the vipers that are waiting for us on the other side. So, so far we don't have any beef with the Powder Gangers. And we don't want any beef with the Powder Gangers so far because we're still a wimpy uh, vault dweller that just... A freshie, a blue. So, uh, there's Gene Sky Diving. We'll go ahead and discover it. That gives us a little bit of XP. XP never hurts. So we're heading down the road. See that trailer? There's some Powder Gangers over there. They should not attack you. You don't have beef with them. If you followed these instructions properly, you did not start beef with the Powder Gangers. See, look, I can talk to the guy. Hey, buddy. You eyeballing me? Yeah, look at that. We're all good. Okay, now we're heading down to the prison. Now, remember, just because I call this the true Slayer build does not mean you can go picking fights with anybody right off the bat. But what I'm going to show you is a way to get you the means to go picking fights with everybody you want if you follow these instructions properly. So we're heading to the prison. See, there's the prison to the right of us. Now we're going to Hidden Valley. Just follow this road. And this this instructional tutorial video is for all new players. So if you're if you're new and you just want to get on your feet, if you if you if for some reason your old save file got deleted and you're unfamiliar with the territory, follow these instructions and you should be fine. There's food, you always want food. You don't want to get trapped by food, so watch out for food just laying out and about. But if you see something that's not going to get you killed, go for it. But where we're going, there's going to be a ton of food. So you can on honestly skip any food collection that you want. So we're at Hidden Valley. So you see this is a desert scorp this is the this is the desert salad route. You got the prison, there's the salad. You're tossing the salad. You got Hidden Valley, there's your ranch. A little dab of ranch on there. And then now we're going to go to Scorpion Gulch, which is gonna be your little dash of scorpion pepper. A little uh, just a dash. Just a simple dash. Our we've got no we've got our weapons unequipped, so we're moving as fast as we can. And this is gonna this is gonna be a little spooky, so just just don't freak out. Just keep running, and you'll be fine. These guys can't touch you. Remember, we're not saving, so uh, if I can do this on very hard difficulty, you can do it on starting difficulty. If I can do this on hardcore, you can do it. I'm gonna try to instruct you as best I can. So you want to take the path to the right. You see that fork? We're taking the path to the right. Now, uh, it should be a clearing. After we get through this narrow passage that's on the path to the right, not the left. The left is where the super mutants are. After we get through, see, the, there's the clearing. There's the clearing. And it's scary. It's scary, but you have to, you have to just, don't be scared. Just keep running. You'll be fine. See that? And then we take a left. And there's another hole. They can't touch you. Don't fight them. Just keep running. You'll be fine. See that? We're almost there. We're almost there. Look. There's a there's the there's the grave. You see that grave? We're almost out. There's Helios at one right ahead. So this tutorial is for all new players. Just follow these instructions. If you're lucky, you should be fine. I haven't saved once. 
So, if I can do this on very hard difficulty, on hardcore, you can do it. And you'll be in Vegas in no time. You'll be on your feet. You'll be ready to go. You'll be unstoppable. Just, uh... Just don't freak out. <laughs> the desert salad can make your heart race, but uh, it's not going to kill you. So we're at Helios 1 now. If any scorpions are still following us, they should die to the NCR that are right up ahead. Now, the NCR are not our friends, but they're not our enemy. And they are going to kill anything that's chasing us. If things are still chasing us, you can use LB on the Xbox controller to uh, look behind you in, in combination with the analog stick. It seems like nothing's chasing us so far, so we're good. Now up ahead is going to be Vipers that attack us. You have, you have an option here now. You can choose to go to the right and get stuck in a tourist town, in a tourist trap town, and murder some innocent old lady who just wants to... Uh, just wants to be beautiful for her gosling, for her, for her viewer, and uh, you don't, you don't really want. If you, I mean, if you're kind of sick and deranged, you can go and and uh, play along with them and get that innocent old lady killed. But if you, uh, if you just want to, just want to make it to Vegas, follow these instructions. You should be fine. Now this is going to be a little rougher and tougher than taking it, taking it easy and going to the right and meeting up with Boom. But uh, it's the payout is a lot better. And you don't have to spill innocent blood. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna advise something to you in this playthrough that is a little bit dangerous, a little more dangerous than the the bark scorpion. Honestly, if you want to take things a little bit easier, go ahead and take it take uh, the direction to the right and go to Novak, go to the tourist trap town with the dinosaur. But just for the I I myself I just can't do that. So um, I'm going to show you what happens if you go to the left. So there's Old Lady Gibson's place. There's gonna be vipers up ahead. These are some bad gangsters. These these dudes, if they shoot me a few times, they're gonna waste me. This is why I put, I picked up the food. They're actually just right up there by that billboard. I don't, not that billboard. Not by the gas station, this other billboard that's going to show up. Unless I already passed it. There's no way. Did I pass it? Nope, that's the billboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's the Vipers. We're, you know what? I'm just going to show you to avoid that billboard. <laughs> you could run into it and get shot up by Vipers, or you could just always just avoid it. Let's just avoid it. I, I probably could take a few shots and just eat my food to heal up, but I'm going to try to keep this tutorial as simple as possible. So you see those vipers are out there, but they don't detect me. So veer close to the trash, veer close to the gas station. Avoid the billboard. Stay away from the billboard. And look at that. We got, we got, we got XP. We got some payoff. So uh, there's going to be an ant up ahead on the road. Fighting a wild dog, you have to worry about both of them, but they're gonna distract each other with each other, so you don't have to worry too much if you just give them a good clearance. Just uh, stay as far away from them as you can without veering too off, too far from the road. There to the left, see that bloody scourge? There's the ant. You don't want beef with him. He's gonna attract his big buddies, and his big buddies are fast, faster than scorpions. So once again, this is a no-save playthrough, hardcore, very hard, and if you follow these instructions, you'll be at Vegas in no time. This is meant for you to be able to follow these instructions with the DLC or without the DLC. This will get you on your feet and ready to conquer the world, and the world will be your oyster if you follow these instructions properly. This is for all new players. And all players who have gotten rusty and been uh, gotten unfamiliar with the game after taking a break. So just keep running. And there is the 188 trading post. It's a bridge. You can see it, smoke coming off it. 
you want to go there, and the reason you want to go there instead of Novak is Veronica is a friend. She's not going to ask you to kill someone so that she can join you. She's she's just a true blue awesome person. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? That's why I asked. My business is boring. You try trading and scavenging for a living and see if you don't start nosing into other people's affairs. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. So you can say whatever you want to Veronica. Well, a bunker, if you want but to she's technical. not going to be mean to you I unless you tell her that you hate brotherhood. Way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Forget I said anything then. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Do they? Oh, that's a relief. I wasn't so sure myself. Protecting people from technology seems like a big job for such a small group. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. So this chick's got the million dollar fist. She is your salvation. Bloom's cool, but you can't really beat Veronica. As long as you play your head smart, she's able to help you take down anything you need to. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Sure, just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes. So now, and dramatic if you follow these instructions, Let's the world the road, is your huh? oyster for the most part. Don't take on Cazadors. Uh, don't take on Cazadors. Don't take on Deathclaws. Uh, be careful with rad scorpions and venomous creatures in general. Um, and also. You got a 50-50 chance of surviving a ghoul. So, ghoul attacks, ghoul hordes, you avoid them if you can. But simple mortal men, they're they're no match for you anymore. At least in small groups. Which is kind of uh, due to the engine constraints, all you're going to run into for the most part. So, we we we're, we're, uh, we could go back and kill everybody who we were scared of before. And we could do that. You could do that. If you follow these instructions, you could do that. But um, what we're going to do is just keep moving forward, and uh, we're going to go to the Strip if we can. But before that, I'm not really too interested in the Strip, but I'm, I'm, I think I'll go ahead and go to the Strip just to show you you can. And once again, this is a no-save playthrough. Just a quick tutorial to get you on your feet if you're new or if you got rusty. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're just joining in, just uh, watch the VOD from the beginning and everything you'll need to know to get this far is going to be in the in the video so uh so we're just going to keep moving forward what, what we're hoping to go to is the ncr sharecroppers farm where we're going to get so much food that it will make it we're going to get so much food for free that it will make it'll make stim packs look like a complete joke it'll make medicine look like a joke So what we could do, if you wanted to, if if, if what, what we could do is either sell the food to get into the strip, 
or pickpocket the Securitron when we get to the Strip. Those are both options. If you're into save scumming, I suggest pickpocket the Securitron when he approaches you and when he's walking away. It's kind of a, it takes finesse though, and it takes save scumming from time to time. Uh, so if that's not your deal, then uh, you could always sell the corn where we're going to get corn. I'm going to show you where to get corn. And uh, you can always sell that corn and get into the strip that way. Cheap and easy. Oh, health-wise, it'll cost time. But uh, you're not going to die, so there's at least that. So, so far we're at 41 minutes, so all of this that I've done, you could do in less than an hour, and you'll be ready to take on the world, for the most part. If you're starting new at New Vegas, from the opening tutorial to now. And this is once again on very hard difficulty, on hardcore mode, and I've... I've uh, I've thrown away all of my DLC items, not even sold them, just straight up threw them away because uh, I'm assuming that you, you're, since you're a new player, you might not have invested in the DLCs, and you might not have an interest in investing in the DLCs until you've scoped out this game and seen if it's something that you're truly interested in. So this playthrough, this tutorial is for you who, uh, who has taken a break or is unfamiliar with the game and hasn't played it before or briefly played it and didn't have much of a chance to get into it. Um, so here we are. So my character is thirsty because this is hardcore mode. If you're playing off hardcore mode, you won't need to do this. But the NCR Sharecropper's Farm is full of water. And take note, when you see water, hold A. Hold the activate button. You will chug that water. <laughs> you want to chug water. You don't want to do a sip. See, this is a sip. Tap A. Sip. Don't sip. Chug. 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 Okay. So, so there's a few, uh, there's a few tents here. And they can be difficult to navigate and easy to mistake for one another. So what you want to do, now I've memorized the tents, but even I have moments where my memory falters. So I like to use reminders. So what we're going to do, is we're going to grab some reminders, and we're going to grab some food. So we're in this tent. See this? It's red. You think it's stealing, right? It's not stealing. Take it. See? No bad karma. Why isn't it taking it? Okay, there we go. You might want to go into first person for this. So we're getting rich in food, and uh, since we chose survival, oh gosh, since we chose survival, this food does one point for nine seconds. Now I know that doesn't sound like much, but there's about a hundred and 30 pinto beans and about 90 or is it either 74 or 90 maize so <laughs> 90 times 1 plus uh, 9 seconds or times 1 times 9 it's a lot it's a lot of health it's more health than stim packs and guess what it's absolutely free it doesn't cost us anything and if we wanted to we could always sell that maize that we just harvested So now we got reminders. So what we want to do is mark these tents so that we know where they're at. So Veronica, um, actually, I'm, I'm going to tell Veronica just to wait here for a second. What's up? Because I don't want her to knock over my reminders. Am I able to tell her to wait? I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. Whatever. 
Uh, so what we're gonna do is mark this tent. This tent has food, so we want to mark it. One maze. Nice and bright. Yellow and green. Easy to catch the eye. This tent also has food. And the reason we want to mark it is so that it's easier to tell where... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck? Where what we need is. Oh, gosh. Why is this happening? Whatever. So normally LT is uh, enough to work. This time it's not working for some reason. So there's that. Uh, so this tent also has got good food in it. So we mark it. Mark it with a maze because it's easy to see. That, now it's marked. And this area we want to mark as well. Oh, you know what? There's another tent that has food in it. I need to mark. So this tent on the hill has food in it. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I've shown you everything you need in this instructional video. Um, you just want to... You can continue watching if you, if you, if you wish to. Um, but honestly, everything that you need to see has been shown. So at this point, I'm just doing the tedious uh, harvesting the food. Marking the food so I can harvest it proper without having to use too much brain power. So we're marking the tents that have food. That way we know where to look for the food. And we do Because these tents, when you're tired, they start all looking the same. And it's easy to mistake one for the other. And sometimes it's just easier to mark it. So you don't got to keep checking and checking and checking because our brains forget things sometimes. And uh, if you have a reminder, if you have notes, that's going to keep you from having to check and check and check and check. And it saves you a lot of time in the long run. See, so there's that tent has food, that tent has food. And I'm not too sure. I think this one might have food too. We'll have a look. See, right now I'm going to have to check because I've forgotten. But if it does have food, I'll go ahead and mark it. It does. Okay. So we'll mark this tent too. So you should yield about 30 maize. 120, 110, uh, 110 or 120 pinto beans, and about 70 to 94, 74 to 90 maize. If you, if you've done this, uh, if you've harvested everything you can, and I highly suggest harvesting everything you can. Uh, it's going to save you a lot of pain. It's going to save you a lot of trouble in the long run to have a good supply of food in replacement for medicine. You don't really want to mess with medicine too much. Medicine can be troublesome, especially if you're just dealing with uh, just not so tough enemies like humans, mole rats, ants. Go ahead and place this here. I wonder why that's happening. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's these smart controllers. They're a little too smart for uh, my liking. And I, I know this is tedious, but it's, it's really... I highly advise it. This, uh, all this food, it's 
free to the taking. Do you remember how much trouble I went through in the beginning for those little scraps of food? This is the mother load. You do not want to pass by the jackpot of survival. This will benefit your survival greatly. And uh, if you pass it up, you are a fool. Once again, so far we have not saved at all, so um, in theory, you could do this without saving at all, but honestly, I think after we harvest this food, I'm going to go, go ahead and call it a quits after all this, but in theory, if you followed all these instructions, after you got this food, you should be pretty much unstoppable. You should be ready to go killing. As long as you avoid Cazadors, avoid giant hordes of glowy ghouls. You might even take on hordes of ghouls, just not those glowy ones. And as long as you avoid super mutants, and as long as you avoid death claws. So basically all the fun stuff. Avoid the fun stuff until you're a real killer. But you're at least going to be tough enough to take on your common gangsters if you follow this advice. And remember, without Veronica and without this food... Those vipers would have wasted me right at the beginning, even with my 10 endurance. If I would have tried to fight them, I would have been wasted. Those those rad scorpions and those bark scorpions, those those uh those creatures would have wasted me right there and then on the spot. If I if I was if I would have tried to take them on, even with this true slayer build. So you want Veronica and you want this food. Playing on the highest difficulty. Playing on hardcore. So if you follow this advice, if you play on medium difficulty on not hardcore, life will be a breeze. But if you've always wanted to see what hardcore, very hard difficulty is like, I'm giving you the tools to do so. And survive. See, at night, it's a lot. It's really nice to have those reminders. Now, Dinky is a better reminder. But, Corn, it does okay. It does a decent job. Maze does a decent job. Honestly, I prefer uh, Whiskey and Atomic Cocktails as reminders, as trail markers. But, it's, they're just so heavy. Uh, Dinky is a more practical choice, but corn, corn is uh, cheap and easy. It's, it's not too bad of an option starting out. It's better than nothing. It's got yellow, so it catches your eye, not as much as green, but still, it can do the job. Rataway is another good uh, trail marker. It glows. So once again, this tutorial is for everyone who's just starting out in New Vegas, never played it before, or people who have played it but they've taken a long break and they've gotten unfamiliar with the with the territory. You want to get back into it and perform on the highest level. Follow this advice, follow this tutorial, and you should be fine for all the at least the basic stuff. At least enough to survive. And, and get on your feet.
And there's a lot of people every day getting into New Vegas for the first time, or it's been a long time, and they just get wasted by a death claw immediately, or they get wasted by vipers they try to fight, or they get wasted by scorpions. We've seen those all now, except for the death claw. But we've seen, we've seen uh, scorpions, and we've seen vipers, and we've we've made it past them. Now we didn't go try to fight them. So now we got Veronica, so I guess what we could do before this uh, stream ends is we could go turn back, take on those vipers. And show them what's for. But, ah, okay, we, I said we would go to the strip. Everybody wants to see the strip. Everybody wants to see the strip. Viewers, streamers, everybody, everybody wants to see the lights. So, as much as I would love to go back and kill those vipers... I think it would probably be best to see the strip. But honestly, I'm not a big fan of the strip. I like Freeside. I like uh, I like visiting Francine Garrett. She's 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 a delight. Uh, but I'm not really a big fan of the strip. It's uh, it's an awful place, honestly. So you know what we're gonna do? This is this is my video. This is my tutorial. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna go to the strip immediately. I'll I'll still show you guys the strip, okay? So I'll show you the strip, but we're gonna take a detour to one of my favorite places. It's gonna take a little while, so just bear with me. You don't gotta rest. You you don't gotta watch the rest of this. At this point, you're prepared. Uh, if you wanted to, you got a few options. Look at all this food. Uh, if you wanted to, look, we got 149 maize. We've got 162 pinto beans. And how about mesquite? What do we have with mesquite? Eh, we got 18 mesquite pods. I must have missed a tent. Oh, gosh. Oh, well. You know what? No, we're going to go. We're going to go pick up that tent. I'm going to show you guys how to really stock up. Okay, so after this, we're gonna go visit Westside, and uh, Westside's one of my favorite places. It's, it's an unappreciated gem. Barely anybody knows about it. Barely anybody visits it. Who does know about it? Uh, it's a great place, and I highly advise checking it out. Did we already go here? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, maybe we just got 18 may, may, uh, mesquite, and that's it. I must have missed a tent. I don't know which one it was. Oh well. We're gonna go check out Westside. We were stocked up on mesquite and we're stocked up on maize. And Westside will give us a chance to go have a place to rest, recuperate, have a place to store our stuff, and uh, just all around we're gonna be um, we're gonna be having a good time in Westside. We got a free housing, free beds, free food. It's just it's free gladiator sports. It's Westside is the place to be. It is awesome. It's not going to bleed you dry like the strip. The strip is not the place to be. But we're going to go there regardless, if I can, by the end of the stream. Hold on. So one trick I got for you for coffee, if you're if you're a big coffee drinker, 
is if your coffee gets cold, just pour some boiling hot water in it. It's awesome. It warms it up. Sure, it's a bit watery, but it's still good. Okay, so we're headed to the strip, not to the strip, we're headed to uh, the west side. So we're going to run into some trouble. What's, of, what's ahead of us, I believe, is a mole rat, a couple jackals, and uh, a mole rat, some jackals. Cazadors, if we stray too far, we don't want to go messing with the cat. We don't want to go messing with the Cazadors. Uh, so, for the most part, it's just a couple Jackals. But we got Veronica with us, so they shouldn't uh, really murder us too bad. And that'll give us a chance to pick up some armor better than our uh, Vault 21s. So we're taking the long route. We could go the short route, but we're going to get killed if we do that. There's fiends that direction, and uh, the, the chances of, uh, of us surviving, even with 10 endurance, is low with this uh, vault blue suit. Don't really want to be wearing this when you take on some, uh, some of the toughest guys in the Mojave. I mean, and the fiends, they're really cracking on the NCR, so... The chances of surviving a battle against the fiends is not high. Now, we probably could do it with the amount of food we got and with Veronica... But I would rather not risk it, and I'm, I'm trying to make this as uh, user-friendly as possible, this tutorial. I'm not trying to get you killed. If I don't have to. There's a fiend regardless. Okay, Veronica, let's get him. We're gonna have to eat this stuff. Eat the food. This is the first time we're having to heal ourselves. Veronica got him. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna go with fiend armor then. I forgot that fiend was there. Let's see, are, are we healing? Effects. Yeah, we're still healing. We'll go ahead and uh, wait in this house for a little while. Uh, we can't wait in this house. We'll wait by this house. For us to heal up. Go ahead and eat a little more. See, this is why you want to stock up on food. Those hits in our vault blue suit, those did not dis do us any favors. But we're in a fiend suit now, so we got a little bit of higher of a damage threshold. I would say that battle was probably worth it, but honestly, if we could have avoided it, and we probably could have, uh, that would be better off. So if you could find a way to avoid that fiend, do it. As long as you don't run into anything worse. Okay, Veronica, let's go. Whoa! Oh, no. Okay, now we got even better free armor. Thing. Let's see. Let's have a look. Uh, leather armor. Uh, it's about the same thing. We'll just stick with our fiend That's armor. That. Oh, we got a free weapon. The lead pipe. One of the best weapons in the entire game. So simple and yet so effective. Look at that DPS. Damage per hit 20. DPS 46. That is insane. Look at the, the, the knife. Little 20 DPS. Lead pipe is the way to go. If you can get a lead pipe, get your hands on one. Okay, so we're going to keep going. We got our lead pipe. We got our fiend armor. We got Veronica with us. We got food. We have not saved once so far. 
We're, still, we're good for the most part. Now, you see that farm up ahead to the right? There's more bad guys there. You could, if you wanted to, you could challenge them. But we're not going to because we're trying to get to west side and avoid as much conflict as possible on the way. Now, with Veronica and this fiend armor and the lead pipe, there's a good chance that we could survive. But we'd just rather not risk it for now. And we have not fast traveled once, so if this is a no fast travel playthrough for you, uh, this tutorial should also work to your benefit. So here we go, approaching West Side. One of the best places to be in the whole Mojave. If you would ask me, I would say it's the very heart of this map. And it is nighttime, so we're going to go into West Side, and we're going to go take a nap in the hotel. Free lodging. Can't get better. Howdy. Oh, look, and we're discovering more stuff. Easy XP. So, let's see, where is it at? Is that the cistern? No, that's not the cistern. There's a cistern around here where you can get free water, free clean water, or dirty water if that's your preference. Uh, it's got both available. Um, and we're going to want to visit that place to get ourselves some good, clean drinking water or dirty water yeah. if we feel the need to drink something with a little bit of flavor. And this is a place to get health for free. So this tap, free healthy water. This uh, pool beneath it, free dirty water. We're going to go with the clean water. So once again, you want to chug. Chug, chug, chug. Hold the activate button. Whatever the activate button would be for you on whatever console or PC you're playing on, hold the activate button and you should chug that water. Now, where's, uh, Casa, Casa, Casa? There we go, Casa Madre. Madrid, Casa Madrid. And there's all this free food here to pick, so help yourself to it. Uh, these banana yuccas, best place in the game to get them. And uh, they're great for making yourself some gecko kebabs once your survival skill is high enough. This coyote tobacco, great for increasing your perception to increase your uh, energy weapons and explosives. Also good for keeping you awake if you're playing on hardcore. Also good for making uh, black coffee if you got the DLCs. It's really good stuff. Almost as good, second best, to the NCR sharecroppers farm. Almost as good of a resource. So here we are at the Casa Madrid, and all these apartments, free to stay in. So what do we got so far? What do we got to decorate this place with? We got a sweet shotgun. Go ahead and, uh, nice at home. We got a nice shotgun, and, uh, we got a knife. got our Vault 21 jumpsuit. Where'd he go? Keep that folded up right next to our bed. We, do, we just want a, a little something to feel at home. Pack of cigarettes. So it's Decorating this game can be, a, can be helpful. Okay, we're going to sleep about six hours. And when we wake up, there'll be uh, plenty of stuff to do. Go ahead and drink some water. Yeah, it's a little bit dirty. It's a little bit healthy, too. Uh, it's just nice to have some water when you first wake up. Uh, 
And uh, so, so that's basically, this whole place can be your apartment complex. I just like this room specifically, this playthrough. You can fill up the tub with money or whatever you want. Uh, it's just, it's a great place to, to lay your head. Hey there. And uh, if you need to store your stuff, don't store it in the apartment unless you're going to leave it out. If you need to store your stuff in a container, choose uh, this garbage can by the pawn shop. And you always want to be bartering as far as long as you're alive. You want to barter, 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 barter. And when I say barter, I mean trade with inanimate objects, people, whoever, whatever you can. Uh, this, in a way, you are a traveling salesman in this game. You, you are a. You are very similar to Hermes. You, you are a courier. You are a messenger. Your patron, if you were to have a patron from Greek mythology, would be Hermes. The messenger. Just gotta find me some sweet jazz. The Lord of Traveling Salesmen. So, uh, you definitely want to, as you travel, Howdy. trade with the containers around you. This game, unlike other Fallout games, the containers never reset. So, if you place something in a container, you can always come back and you can always get back what you lost. If you really wanted to, honestly, some stuff just sits and sits and sits, and you might never have a need for it. So it's some, but sometimes you might have a need for something specific. So it's always good to store something instead of sell it. If you don't understand what something's for, store it, keep it safe and hidden away, and one day you might find a use for it. Especially if you do quests and story stuff. So we're going to get ourselves some money. And we're going to have some fun, free entertainment along the way. Look at that. Some free experience. We're going to have some fun, free entertainment. Get us some money. And then after this, we're going to go to the strip. Everybody wants to see the strip, so that's what we're going to do. So remember, you can come to this place with uh, no... Oh, look at that. We got to level up. What do we want to level up? We'll go with uh, melee. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah survival. We're going to do. We're gonna be doing a lot of healing. Ah, we got a new thing. Ah, what do we want? Uh, I forget if Old World Gourmet is part of this game. Part of the non-DLC part. Uh... I really like Hunter for fighting stuff. But Old World Gourmet is going to help us with healing. Especially from vodka and things of that sort. Junk food. What would I suggest for you? If you want to be a fighter, I suggest Hunter. If you want to be... If you want to do a lot of healing and let Veronica do the fighting for you, I'd say just Old World Gourmet. So I'm going to go with Old World Gourmet. I'm pretty sure that this is part of the base game. I think it is. Well, we need, we need it anyway, so we'll go with Old World Gourmet for now. We might go back for Hunter later. But honestly, we're just trying to make it to the Strip, so... I'd remember if I had seen you here before. I'm sure of it. What do you want? So... Here we go. So, uh, what you want to do is set up a fight. Do you set up custom fights? What's fighting? Oh, I want to set up a mixed fight. You're paying for it. So what we want to start off with is Rad Scorpion and Giant Rat. But we don't have enough caps. Oh gosh, how embarrassing. We don't have enough caps to set up even the most basic fight. So we're going to sell some of the maze that we picked up.
Howdy. Name's Bob, but... So you notice uh, Klamath Bob has a lot for sale, but if you buy all his product, later on he won't have much for sale. So we're going to sell some maize. Oh, we don't really need this barrel cactus fruit. That stuff's kind of garbage. If you ever end up with barrel cactus fruit and you don't have the means to turn it into saline green, I suggest selling it. We love maize, but we're going to have to sell a certain degree of it. We got 88. And uh, that should be enough to start a fight. So... If you can, it would be good to keep your maize, but honestly, selling some can't hurt in every three days. So today is uh, Monday, so by Thursday, the crop fields should respawn and replenish all of their maize and all their pintos for us to go and harvest. So eight, selling a little bit of our food supply, it's it hurt our, uh, it's gonna hurt our progress, but not too bad. Welcome back, stranger. Let's talk about the, the thorns. Set up a mixed fight, red scorpion versus rat. So this is only gonna earn us about ten caps. So we're gonna have to set up this fight a few times. If you're willing to spend some time, once again, I'm not telling you how to. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to help you out with preserving your life. Not necessarily the most exciting playthrough, but uh, enough to get you on your feet, enough to get you to the strip. If that's what, if you're a streamer and your viewers want to see the strip, this is the safest way to get you there. So I'm not showing you the most exciting way. I'm showing you a mixture of what I like and uh, what's. A safe way of getting you to what you want. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome. Oh, that back, only made stranger. us five caps. <laughs> Sorry, only five caps. What? Five caps of profit is better than nothing. And it's a sure bet every time. This rad scorpion. I have prayed for it to lose to the rat, and. I have never seen the Rad Scorpion ever bend, buckle, or break to the rat. The Rad Scorpion is uh, one of the best fighters you will ever see in the ring. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. Uh, do we have enough money for it? Cazador on red. How many? One. And blue. Three fiends. I don't have enough. Oh, well. So what are we looking at caps-wise? We got 90 caps. When she... When, when the Rad Scorpion wins this time... We'll have 105 caps, so we're going to need to set up a few matches in order to get our uh, sweet Cazador versus three fiends. And then once we got enough caps for that, we'll be in Vegas in no time. Oh wow, is the rat actually going to win? That was that was, that was a not a close one, but the rat did better than normal. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. How many caps are we looking at? Okay, we're, we're inching there. We're inching closer and closer. Once again, safe and steadily. And this isn't the worst thing ever, is it? I mean, it's, it's a free show. We get this. I mean, it's kind of boring because you know what's going to happen, but it's a show nonetheless. Boring show or exciting. It's still a free show, so 
it's not too too bad and we're not we're not getting killed we're not getting shot at so uh, for the most part this isn't too bad I'm sure you can endure this well done stranger here's your share welcome back stranger Let me tell you, it's, it's this is a lot better off than what I went through. I played a, a no fast travel, no quest, no uh, no stem packs, no uh, no nothing for a while, and I'll tell you, I spent about 300 to 400 hours in Good Springs alone, living off scraps, meagerly, just collecting cap by cap. Piece of inventory by piece of inventory. It's inventory. Blood, I didn't have this kind of knowledge, and I don't want you to be stuck in that situation. And uh, it's a lot slower than this. Well done, the progress. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. And uh, it's a lot tougher to make progress. This we're, we're getting five caps. With no sweat off our back, and we're getting a free show. This is easy living. This is what I. This is what I want for you. Well done. Okay, we're stranger, at 140 caps. We need 180. Share. Welcome back, stranger. See, once we make 180 caps, we can start placing bets of Rad Scorpion. I mean, of a. Uh, Fiends versus Cazadors, or single Cazador versus three Fiends, and uh, that pays out 240 caps. So we'll be making a, a greater profit. Now we're going to have to pay 180 caps per match, but we're going to be making 240. <laughs> so it's still not the biggest profit, but it's for the amount of trouble blood. we're going we'll through, talk. it's it's good Find profit. The fight. And for uh, And uh, yeah, it's just, it's good stuff all around. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. You get a show, you get profit. What are we looking at? We're at 115. We're, we're getting there. By the way, you do not want to get into the ring yourself. It's a good way to get yourself killed. You want to let the, the professionals do all the fighting. Maybe when you're a higher level. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. So, this goes back to what I said at the beginning, where at first it's a, uh, a slow startup. And then once you get on your feet, once you get going, it, it moves at a much faster rate. So right now we're at the slow takeoff, but we're going to be going jet speed pretty soon, or at least medium speed, once we get to that Cazador and Fiends. And then once we get to the Cazador and Fiends, it's about, I don't know, it won't, it won't take too long before we got enough caps to go to the strip the easy way. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger.
Honestly, though, uh, thank you so much for sticking with me. If you're, if you've been watching for this long, uh, if if you if you're looking to if you if you're looking to watch the VOD or if you want to share this tutorial with somebody that's interested in the VOD, I suggest only watching the first 60 minutes. The first 50 to 60 minutes have everything you need to know to get yourself started. Uh, this is all just extra. If you're still here, thank you so much for sticking around. But um, this is a, a little more tedious and it's not as necessary as just those first 50 minutes of, of content from this VOD to get yourself on your feet. Honestly, after the 50 minute mark, you're, you've got the tools to get, to get yourself going and uh, doing whatever you want to do. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. But if you're sticking around this long, thank you so much. And I hope it helps. I know it's, uh, this is not the most interesting stuff, but this is part of the process. At least, uh, the way I do it. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. We're almost there. After this match, we'll have 155 caps. And then it's just, just like, a couple more matches after that until we finally have 180. And uh, I'm going to be so disappointed if the Cazador dies. See, the thing about this match is this, this is sure money. It's slow money, but it's sure money. The Cazador, every once in a while, it gets stopped up and those fiends take advantage of it and they take it out. Just every once in a while. For the most part, it's good money. Every once in a while, it's a little shaky, though. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. But it's fast money. Or at least faster than this. Yeah, and I mean, if you're a streamer, you could probably spice this up by going like, uh, by pretending to be like a wrestling announcer. Be like, oh, the Rat Scorpion, he's on the right. Oh, he's and, like doing all that stuff. Go! Well done, stranger. Here's your share. 175. Welcome One back, more match. I told you guys we'd go to the strip, so we're going to try to go to the strip. Unfortunately, we've gotten a little overtime on how much time I was planning to stream. But uh, honestly, the, that first 50, the first 40 to 50 minutes has everything you need. Um, this is all just kind of tedious extra stuff. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. You, you can still use this as part of the instructional video, but, uh... Well done, stranger. Honestly, uh, for Here's the past 80 to 90 minutes, you probably Welcome could fast-forward this part, because it's just the same thing on loop. Well, come on. Please, please, please don't fail me. This took forever. I really need that Cazador to get this win. Oh, 
come on. Oh, come on, no. Okay. Yeah, it's once again, it's shaky money. It's not 100% sure chance of winning. But if you do win, it sure is nice getting that payout. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Nice. Welcome back, stranger. You got it. Best of luck and enjoy the carnage. So we're making about 60 caps a match now. Now it's a bit shaky, but if we if we if we manage to be successful, we're making 60 caps a match. That's that's a pretty good. That'll get us to a. I think we need 5,000 caps to get into the strip. So that should get us what we need. Once again, not the fastest money, but it's a uh, it's safe money. And we're getting free shows, so you got to factor in the value of the, that entertainment too. Well done, stranger. Here's your sh share. But uh, oh gosh. Okay. Welcome back, stranger. What we might do is make, uh, I think it's 500 caps, and call it a quits there, and just get the fake ID. Maybe. So let's just have a look. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. We really need every win here so we can get those caps. Okay, so it's 500 caps for a fake passport, and it's 2,000 to get in legit. The thing is, though, if I remember correctly, fake passport, you need a little bit of speech skill to get that. So uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. You're... You... So you could have 80 science, unlikely early game. You pass the credit check with 2,000 caps. As we all know, you can uh, pickpocket the guy. Uh, you could earn a king's passport, but I don't really advise that. The kings are always trouble. Yeah. Uh. 
Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. What do you want to know? Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. Well done, Str stranger. Welcome back, stranger. You got it. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger.
It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Well done, stranger. Here's your share. Welcome back, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. Well done. Welcome back, stranger. Well done. Welcome back, stranger.
Well done, stranger. Here's your sh Welcome back, stranger. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. How It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Well, well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. Well done. Welcome back, stranger. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Well, welcome back, stranger.
Well, welcome back, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. Well, welcome back, stranger. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. So, uh... After the 50 minute mark, these instructions become time consuming, but they are simple to follow. So if you follow the instructions in this tutorial, you should be able to make it to the strip with no trouble, just a bit of time spent. Welcome back, stranger. So I guess while we're here, we can go over what we've gone through so far. First, we started off with Doc Mitchell. We chose the perks uh, Heavy Handed and Hoarder. Then we collected what little fruit there is around the town of Good Springs. We headed straight for the NCR correctional facility. Stayed on the road though, didn't actually enter the facility. And then from there we went to Hidden Valley. And then from there we went to Scorpion Gulch, taking a right in the fork in the road or in the trail and avoiding Black Mountain. Then we came out at Helios 1, avoided the billboard and went for Eldorado gas station. 
and then went straight to the 188 while avoiding the ants, where we picked up Veronica, and then we headed north to the strip. We picked up as much food as we can from the NCR sharecroppers facility. We headed north and then west around the border of the strip and Freeside, and we entered west side, but on the way we fought a few fiends that we probably could have avoided. We fought a few jackals. To which now we're here. We've spent about uh, 20, 30 minutes here gambling safely and making a profit, but uh, a bit time consuming. Well, welcome back, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. It's time for blood, not talk. Find me after the fight. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. Welcome back, stranger.
Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. Well done, Strip. Okay, Danger. it only took 125 sure. minutes, but we've got all the caps we need to get into the Strip. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get into the Strip. Uh, we're not going to use fast travel, because I don't know if this is uh, for you a fast travel or no fast travel playthrough. But we are going to... Well, let's see. What's our rest like? How many days we've been out? Tuesday. We barely been uh, gambling all night, so uh, we're still good. But uh, we need food and water because I guess standing around all night made us thirsty and hungry. It's a lot less time than I expected, honestly. 125 minutes, and uh, how much sleep do we need? Only 50 sleep. So sleep is actually. Uh, a resource, uh, a, a point system you don't have to worry too much about. So we'll go ahead and head to the cistern, get whatever uh, fresh water we can. Remember, we want to drink the fresh water, not the dirty water. The fresh water is in the tap. The dirty water is in the bathtub below the tap. The, uh, well, not a bathtub, but the tub. The trough. The water trough. We want the, the tab, not the trough. Okay, so what's our water at? Water's looking good. Now we can start headed towards, we can start heading towards the strip. So we've got 2,000 caps, and that's all we need for the credit check. And we'll still be able to spend those caps. We just need them to show that we're not broke. Going to place me a good bet. And since it's only been uh, about 16 hours, uh, the crops have not respawned, but neither have our enemies. So. Uh, we should be safe to travel the route which we took here. Now, remember, one mistake I made was I got a little too close to Howard Hughes' uh, tool factory, or Howard House's tool factory, H&H um, &H Tools. I got a little too close to that factory, so we want to avoid the factory, but we don't want to get too close to the mountains, because that's where the Cazadors are at.
If we run into the Jackals, that should be fine. We have uh, Veronica with us, and she'll help defend us. So yeah, avoid those factories, those houses right next to West Side. Avoid those buildings. They've got fiends. And avoid getting too close to the mountains. The mountains have Cazadors. If you walk this narrow line, this uh, narrow field between those two, you should be fine. So after we, we, we reach the strip, uh, we the stream should be completed. Now, uh, honestly, everything you need to know is in the first 50 minutes. Um, the rest is just a bit tedious and uh, can probably be fast-forwarded through, except for the key parts like what bets to take. And I'll tell you right now, the bets you need to take at the Thorn at the beginning, when you have very little caps, is... Uh, Rad, ro rad Scorpion versus Rat. And after you've got enough caps to do Cazador versus Three Fiends, you want to go for that. And just keep on repeating that bet until you've got 2,000 caps. And you should be good. So luckily we stocked up on food, so any food needs you might run into, you should have your food on you. Uh, it's very tempting to sell all of that food for money, but the food's going to do you a lot more favors as food and medicine than it will as money. When it comes to survival. So we're going to go through Freeside, which is a very dangerous place. This is why we needed Veronica. Veronica is going to help have our back. And I don't know for sure if in your playthrough you're going to be able to pick up a lead pipe, but if you can, you'll be even safer with a lead pipe. And you want to focus on the lead pipe over other weapons because it's lightweight, it has high DPS, 
and uh, it's cheap to repair if you find a station or a vendor who will repair the lead pipe for you. And look at Veronica, already going and taking out the bad guys. Let's just keep moving. We got what we need. Let's keep our weapon unequipped so that we can move as quickly as we can. Veronica's following us, so we're safe for the most part. And we're almost to the strip. And then uh, it'll be that'll be it for this stream. You'll have all the knowledge you need to make it to the strip safely in one piece on the hardest difficulty with no fast travel, no stim packs, no DLC equipment, no DLC perks, and uh, you'll you'll be totally equipped knowledge-wise to to get on your feet and once again familiarize yourself with the game. You look new to free sides. So. And once again, you don't want to talk to too many people. People's lives are terrible. Submit to a credit check. And they're terrible because they don't know how to navigate this world. I've given you the instructions to navigate this world. Don't listen to the advice that people in terrible situations are going to try to give you. And we made it to the strip, so there you go. That's the, it, partner. That's the whole thing. So there's the Gamora. I advise avoiding that place. There's nothing but trouble there. There's the Lucky 38. Once again, nothing but trouble there. Avoid that place. Uh, the Tops Hotel. Definitely avoid that place. Uh, the Ultra Lux, avoid that place. I mean, once again, you have your freedom, so you can choose to interact with what you want, but if you want to follow my advice, I would say avoid that stuff. Um, now here at the back, this is what you want. There's Michelangelo's place. It's it's a pretty unique place. It's got things, sites worth seeing. Uh, you might want to go check that out, and there's not much trouble to be had there as long as you don't talk to anybody. Uh, here's the Vault 21 gift shop. This is where you want to go. This is a great place to buy all kinds of unique, fun souvenirs. Hi. It's a great place to get a bed, to heal your broken limbs. Good to see you again. Okay, so Pretty Sarah has a Vault 21 jumpsuit for sale. Uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla beer and atom atomic cocktails. You definitely want all this stuff. And look at all these toys she's got. She's got great toys. Uh, she's got great stuff all around to get. I'm going to go ahead and get a Vault 21 jumpsuit just because they're cool. Give me a shout if you need anything else. And I left my... Vault 21 jumpsuit over at the Casa Madrid. I'm looking spiffy. Got free water to drink. Good clean water from a vault. Uh, and that's that's everything you need for your... That's everything in the tutorial, so... That's everything you need, so... Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the stream, uh, go ahead and follow if you want. Uh... If you can, check out the link in my description. It's a charity that helps out with saving the sea turtles. And uh, there's another charity that helps out with saving the birds in nature. And um, that's all I got for now. So thank you so much. Goodbye. 
damn slots are 